Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective reading, therefore it's not specifically intended for any sign. But if you're here and if you've clicked on this reading, then there's something here that's pulled you to this reading. You've been um, guided here, you've been led here. Okay, so something here has pulled on your energy. That's why you ended up here. Um, in today's reading, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what you need to know about the person that you're currently connected to. Okay, so if you're in a relationship with someone or even if you've just recently met this person, what is it that the cards want you to know about this person? Is there any warnings that you should um, you know, be mindful of? Or is there some secrets that you need to know about this person? What is it that you need to know about them, their intentions, this connection? There's going to be a part two, and in part two, you guessed it, we're just going to follow on with the messages. Part two will be made available via the extension link below. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, guys, feel free to email me. My email address will be listed below the video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and begin. So what is it that you might need to know about the person that you're currently connected to? So whether you're in, you know, you've been in a long-term relationship or even if you guys just recently met. Let's take a look and see what the cards want you to know about them. Okay. To me, uh, what's very interesting is I feel like this is something, this is a connection that's happened very quickly, okay? I feel like this is someone that you connected to very quickly, or this is someone that you felt very comfortable um, with almost instantly okay there may have been this instant connection this instant attraction this sort of instant recognition within each other um it may have been you know that this person awakened something inside of you they you know their 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 energy sparks something inside of you your energy sparks something inside of them it's this kind of i feel like it's almost this instant connection right it happened quickly but then i think things have slowed down or things will slow down okay so um not that it's a bad thing, but I'll explain why I say this, but it just feels like, yeah, this is something that's happened very quickly, a connection that um, that you've built upon very quickly, but then it'll slow down, or it will, if it hasn't yet, it will, or otherwise it has slowed down. This is something that I see it being more of a slow burn, something that's going to build over time, okay? That's because when you guys first met, you instantly recognize, it's like this instant soul recognition within each other, okay? This person has, you know, their energy um, just instantly recognized and responded to yours. And I feel like you both kind of awakened something inside of each other. However, I feel like one of you is a little bit more awakened than the other. This is what's causing this bit of a delay, okay? This is what's causing or will cause things to slow down. One of you, whether it's you or your person... Um, you'll have to make that decision there, is a little bit more awakened than the other. And therefore, they're a little bit more ahead, okay, than the other person in terms of their feelings, in terms of their, you know, investment. Um, so you just, you or your person is going to have to be a little bit patient here and is going to have to wait for the other person to play catch up, okay? Um, but it is this, it's this beautiful energy. I feel like the person that you're connected to, there's this beautiful um, beautiful energy of this, you know, this energy of things, of this person being destined for you, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, this energy of something about this feels like it's meant to be, something about this feels natural, it feels organic, it feels, it feels right, it just fits, it just makes sense, you know, when you know, you know, but in saying that, I do see that this is going to be more of a slow burn, because what happens, this is a connection in which, you know, this is just, I feel like it's it goes beyond the 3D. I think this is a connection in which you're really going to connect with each other on a soul level. I feel like this is someone who's really going to open up their heart to you um, and you're going to open up your heart to them. So this is going to be a very um, ascending type of a connection. But it is going to take its time because, like I said, you know, getting there is going to be a bit of a waiting game. 
okay and a watch pot never boils so you're just going to have to let it unfold naturally rather than you know sitting around waiting for it to happen but I do feel like like I, I do feel as though someone is a little bit more ahead of the other person okay someone is a little bit more awakened than the other person um, not because they're kind of closed well they are kind of closed off but I feel like you know that can be explained away by the fact that I see someone here with the five of wands and the nine of wands someone has been hurt in the past and someone has been hurt very deeply and they're still going through that healing process this person is still healing their wounds this person is still you know on this journey to healing and wellness so this is why you know they're a little bit suspicious they're a little bit more cautious they've got their antennas up their feelers up they just don't want to be hurt again um they're also keeping their distance a little bit because this person, whether it's you or them, they're trying to protect not only themselves, but they're also trying to protect your energy because, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to be hurt, but they also don't want to do or say anything that's going to hurt you. So they're really trying to be mindful of this whole situation. So this person that you met, you know, I do feel like this is, this got a, this has a soulmate energy. It's got a soulmate feel to it. The Wheel of Fortune tells us that this person you were always destined to meet with this person. You were always destined to connect with them. You're destined to cross paths with them. In fact, you're destined to be together, okay? But, you know, just because it's destiny doesn't mean that it's not going to be complicated. So, yes, I see that there is intricacies. There's layers to this connection. There's complexities to this person. I mean, you know, people are complex creatures. We all come with our own complexities, with our flaws, with our baggage. So, you know, in order for you to make this work, you're going to have to be very patient. But from what I see, you know, this is the Knight of Cups energy. There's this strong, the Knight of Cups is, you know, Mr. Seduction over here. He's the most romantic, charming knight out of the tarot deck. So I do see that there's a lot of romance. There's a lot of romantic energy here to this person or to this connection. Okay, there's a lot of, you know, stars in your eyes kind of energy, butterflies in your stomach, weak at the knees. I do see that this is someone whom, you know, you sort of melt into each other okay there's this beautiful romantic energy um you guys are you know this could be the storybook romance you've always wanted um this could be you know the person that you've always been waiting on this just could be your knight in shining armor okay um however notice with the knight of cups he's walking into this situation gracefully okay unlike the knight of wands the knight of swords he's not charging leaping ahead He's taking his time, okay? Um, and this is what I feel like this person's energy is like, or this connection is going to be like. It's going to want to take its time, okay? You don't rush a beautiful thing. You give it the time and you give it the space that it needs to grow um, and to unfold. You know, you let it do its magic. And I think if you rush this, it's going to backfire, okay? And you potentially could, you could end up hurt. So do not rush this process. Take your, allow it, you know, take your time because it's important that you do know, you know, someone here is a little bit more awaken than the other person so you know the other person has a little bit more awakening to do and it's going to take some time you can't just you know try to jolt them wide awake it doesn't work like that so um let things unfold naturally but i do feel like that this is someone whom you care about and this is this person cares about you and i think their intentions are in the right place okay this is someone who even if you just recently met this is someone that you're going to grow to care about very deeply Okay, there's a very strong emotional bond, a very strong emotional connection that you have with this person or you are yet to develop with this person. Okay, but that is going to take time, okay, because that's how, you know, bonds happen. You grow to know someone, you develop that connection, you get to know someone. Um, so I also see that there's a lot of stability to this person, okay, um, and I think or to this energy. This is something that I feel like could become long term. This has long-term potential. This has something that, you know, you could really settle into a life with this person. You could really build um, stability and security. And this person can offer you that. That's not to say they've had a lot of that in the past, but it could be the incentive that this person might need because they've lacked that in the past. This is something that they really crave and yearn and long for. And then, you know, they're willing to go to extreme lengths to give themselves that and to give their partner that. So I do see that this has, this person... Or one of you has a very stable kind of grounded energy or this is something that you're both really seeking and you know with work and patience and compassion you're able to go in, you're able to give that to each other a very stable very grounded kind of energy um, this person is very practical and I think they're you know 
they're trying to look at things practically. So if you're someone who, who has their head in their clouds, this person is the opposite and they've got their feet on the ground. And it's a beautiful kind of energy. You guys complement each other um, very well, right? You balance each other out very well. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, it's the Destiny Tarot card out of the whole deck. So there is something about this that does feel destined. There is something about this that feels like it's meant to be. You know, you were destined together. You were destined to meet. This was just destined to happen. Um, you know. Um, but also I feel like, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, it's a reminder that life's rhythm is up and down. So, so if you guys have met, you know, if you've met and you've connected very instantly it is going to slow down and this is you know the ups and downs that's the up and down rhythm of life so there is going to be you are going to hit some obstacles you are going to hit some hurdles with this person you know the relationship is going to slow down um it may get a little bit complicated it may be a little bit complex but don't you know that's not the part where you run away okay that's not the part where you throw your hands up in the air and go this is too hard i'm backing out okay this is where you need to stick it through um stick through it that okay wait wait <laughs> let me make sense of this this is where you need to stick it out you know that's it you know you need to push through it you need to push through the obstacles push through the hurdles because the five of swords does predict a conflict in the energies here and just remember no relationship you know is immune from conflicts is immune from setbacks is immune from hurdles none okay it's not the obstacles or hurdles it's how you get through them it's how you navigate them and I'm telling you that the Five of Swords, there is some sort of strong conflict or strong tension that is going to be present or that might be present right now, you know, weaving um, through the energies here. But there's something here that you need to work out with this person. And that could, you know, the conflict here, it could be something very little um, or it could be something a little bit bigger. It could be the conflict could be the fact that one of you is more awakened than the other and you're going to have to navigate around that. Okay, you're going to have to figure out, okay, well, you know. How do you take it from here? Okay, the conflict could be that this person has been really hurt in the past and is a little bit closed off, and you know is trying to keep their distance to protect them, but also protect your energy. So, you know, there's bound to be something here that I feel like you're going to have to work through it. But, you know, the Five of Swords doesn't say, you know, it's not telling you that, hey, you know, heads up, major warning, there's a conflict, run away. That's not what it's saying. It's saying that there's some sort of tension or some sort of conflict that is present or that will come about that you're going to have to navigate okay because this person and this relationship will totally be worth it okay so and look with the nine of swords you might have your suspicions about them or they may have your their suspicions about you but i think it's so important to um communicate it's so important to talk it out it's so important to give this uh, a chance Seven of Pentacles is this energy of waiting. I feel like for some of you, maybe you've been waiting for this person. You've been waiting for something just like this. Or maybe you always feel like you're waiting. You're waiting for something. You're waiting, you know, for someone to make a move. You're waiting for something to work out. I just, it's just this energy of waiting. Um, and as, you know, as I like to say, a watch pot never boils, does it? So it's like, you know, don't focus too, don't put too much energy on the whole waiting thing. Okay. Wait, but let things unfold organically and, and naturally because if you rush this you could potentially be rushing through um, what I think it might just be the best thing that might have ever happened to you okay and this is how I see it like this connection this person just might be the best thing that's happened to you or at the very least it's happened to you in a very long time so why is it that you want to go ahead and sabotage this why is it that you might want to go ahead and jeopardize or hinder any of this you wouldn't would you so you know Slow your roll, take your time, and just see where this thing goes. Because, you know, it's going somewhere. It's going places. But only if you allow it. Only if you don't get in, in the way of it. Um, but this is, look, their connections are in um, in the right place. Their inten um, Sorry, their intentions are in the right place. This person feels like they have a very sincere, very authentic energy about them. Do they have emotional baggage? Yes. Do they come with, you know... Um, flaws or insecurities yes but that's a part of being human right you know and there is something in their energy that does present a bit of conflict okay i'm not saying that this person you know is conflict but i feel like there's something about them and something about you that even though your energies play well with each other there's something here that's in conflict so for example you might just be ready to settle down they might be not ready just yet you might be more awakened than than this person they may be a little less awakened. So see what I mean? See where I'm getting at conflict? It doesn't mean that you guys are, you know, 
you know, butting heads with each other, but it just means that there's something here that's like kind of not balancing out. And you can balance things out. You just have to be patient with it and take your time with it. I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to follow on with the messages in part two. We want to see, um, you know, where this connection is going. Okay, because it's going places, but we want to see um, where there might be some major um, turning points um, or some ma maybe key dates or communication that you might have to look out for or any other significant events, synchronistic events around you and this person. Um, so follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below. I just want to thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Please show your support to this channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.